I mean, life, sometimes you don't get just reward, and I think that's one of those. Yeah, we huffed and puffed. I just said to the lads there, <clears throat> you know, it's a, it's been a long time coming, <clears throat> but um, it hurts. We, didn't, we don't want to lose games, certainly here. Um, but we just got to get back on the horse as quickly as we can and, uh, and, and try and put it right on Tuesday. That's what I, I mean. Listen, there was no lack of effort and endeavour from us. We, you know, their goalies made some great saves in the first half. We've had a hell of a lot of goal knife action. But we had a great shot for a penalty as well, but it didn't happen. So one of them days where it just it wouldn't go in the goal for us. And if you don't score, you can't win. But when you don't score, you don't have to concede. And I just thought it was a really soft goal. And I said it, it's, it was something really, uh, early on in the season I was really pleased about. We were very difficult to score against, as well as being, you know, potent ourselves. And just recently we've been a little bit loose. And um, maybe it's because certain people aren't playing, I, I don't know. But um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a hard one to take, but you, you know, it's not in the rules that you can't lose. The goal very similar to Buxton in a way, wasn't it? It wasn't the ball yeah. we dealt with. Buxton. Yeah, I mean we we won the ball in the corner and then we would take the ball was taken off us and then they just played a straight ball which it's just it's got to be dealt with, isn't it? So, you know, them them lads know that and they they'll, they'll take that responsibility, I'm sure. Um, and like I said, we've got to move on as quickly as we can. The game's only three days away. So much pressure that came in the second half, but just the final ball sometimes from set yeah. pieces. Yeah, and I, you know, I'm not an excuse bloke, but, but the pitch is really difficult, and it, at that last moment, sometimes it's just bobbling up, and it's it's hard. It is hard. It's a hard surface to play on. But we, you know, we, we play the way we play because it's the best way we can play. And like I said, we had enough opportunity and we had enough chances really to have won two games. So, you know, it's no good me ranting and raving and shouting and bawling at them, I don't think, because I know they're giving me what they've got. And so far, it's been good enough. It just wasn't quite good enough today. I mean, the mistake was harsh, because it didn't look as though there was going to be one. No, I know. But like I said, when, you, when you're in dominant possession, like we were, I mean, second half, we were almost camped in, in their half, weren't we? Um, if anything, I would, would like to have seen the goalie work a little harder than he, than he had to, because um, that was you know, the dead chair on second half, didn't he? So, yeah. It's frustrating, like I said, we knocked and we knocked, but we didn't actually open the door today. But they showed, they drew so many games yeah. coming into this, they showed why, yeah. why they're like that. Well, we said in the meeting before the game um, that it's very fine margins with these. They, they draw a lot of games so in, and they win or they lose games by one goal usually. Um, proved me right again, didn't it? Uh, introduction of goal, good to see him back. Yeah, brilliant. I mean, he's, he's kept himself in good nick. He's, it's been six weeks since he played, it was 1st of January when he, when he last played. So, yeah, um, obviously it's, 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 it's sort of suck at it and see with him really because he's, he's had some surgery on his cheekbone, but uh, he wanted, <coughs> excuse me, he wanted to be involved. Um, and I thought, you know, he'd come on and showed, showed the different dimension he can give us when he's on the pitch. But um, I thought the two lads up front ran their socks off and, and ran them ragged, really, you know. But you've got know, to give credit to the opposition sometimes and say that they did everything they could to make sure that they hung on and hung in and in the game firstly and then hung on once they'd scored. Fair play to them, got to give them credit. Did you say the, the energy, you just couldn't fault at all? No, no, I can't. Like I said, I, I, listen, my lads, they're honest and they're, they're fit and they're, they try to play the way we, we try to direct them to. And well, nine times out of ten this season, it's gone well. So. Listen, we just got to take it on the chin. That's all, that's all we can do. Yeah, you know, no God-given right to, to win every game, but it, it will hurt, as you say. Yeah, well, it does hurt. I, mean, I don't like losing Tilly Winks to be daughter. So, you know, at the end of the day, if you're a competitive type, which I am, and I like to think most of the people in there are, then they'll be they'll be hurting because it's not a feeling that we've had much at the walks this season. Certainly in the league, we haven't had it at all, have we? So, don't want to feel it again but very soon. Yeah, it's about such a course, and he seemed to me he was mm. limping from about half past three. Yeah, he t <laughs> I think somebody landed on him as he was as he was clearing the ball. I don't think it was a deliberate. I think a lad actually landed on his leg, so he had a he got a bit of he got a gash last week as well. So he might be a combination of one whack this week and one one last week. I think. But, uh, I mean, the guy who plays like that with mm. I mean, who's visibly limping all the time. It, it's a, it's a, it must be nice for a manager if you see some blood and guts out there. Yeah, listen, I, I've got no I've got no qualms about. The, the, the minerals of, of my players. Um, like I said, if, if there was lack of effort and lack of quality, then they wouldn't be here. So from that point of view, I'm, I'm not disappointed with them and what they were trying to do. I'm just disappointed for them that we didn't manage to score a goal. Because if we scored a goal when you know we were, we were on top in a lot of the game, if we'd have scored when we were on top, the game changes because they have to come out. But they didn't, never had to really come out, did they? So they've done a good job on a, a away trip, a long away trip in there. Uh, 
you'll enjoy the, the, the trip home a lot more, should you? You probably had the best chance of the game when Adam headed over. That that's one that you probably wanted gold on the end of. Yeah, I mean, to be, he's, he's he's chipped in with three or four this season, Adam. So when he got the contract he got, I was expecting him at the bulge. But um, yeah. Like I said, it, it's, I'm not going to point the finger at any one person. I thought we were just just a little bit short in terms of the the finer details in their box, and, and that's that's the, that's why they get the big bucks, the strikers. And you're allowed to sit on goal on Mateo's shoulders in the penalty area as well, I believe. Well, uh, I mean, was I, that the incident you were referring I, to? Well, there was a certain, there was two. Uh, Listen, Goldie always gets manhandled because he's such a big and pro bloke. He very rarely goes down. So if if he does go down, he tends to have been, you know, mm. manhandled. But I saw Aaron Cosgrave trying to get on the end of a knockdown, and he literally was manhandled with two hands that I could see visibly from where I was. And I've just had a look on the video there, and it's just, first so when the goalkeeper sort of scooped yeah. it up. Yeah, yeah. 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 penalty. So, but at the end of the day, it's you're in the hands of the the officials. You just hope to get the vast majority of them right. Lately, we haven't been on the end of the clock, and that's important. Will you need to talk to them about getting up on Tuesday, or is that does itself? Nah, they're very well. They're self-motivated. The skipper's excellent around the dressing room, whether he's in the team or not. Um, and I fully expect them to be bouncing on Monday morning when we come back in the train. How much did you miss the two guys today? Yeah. I mean, we met, it's not just them two. We, you know, we were without Ben Stevens, without Cam Hargreaves, we were without Ollie Scott. It's half the team that was yeah. winning for fun at the beginning of the season. So I'm, I'm well aware that we, we haven't been at we're full strength, but we're not far away from having everybody fit. So hopefully I'll have a headache tonight because I'm hurting, but I'll have a headache. You know, we got two down because I'll have to be disappointed in one or two of the players. It's not bad losing that number of players, but you and Fylde are still playing piggyback for that top <laughs> spot. I mean, it is good, isn't it? Well, in that respect, I, I don't. I don't really look. I keep telling you, I really. I don't look at the table, and I don't, I'm not interested in Fylde. I'll be interested in Fylde the, the week leading into us playing them, or the, after the Tuesday night before we play them. <clears throat> so from that point of view, we can't control what they do. They can't control what we do. It's only when we play them that we'll we'll have eyes and, and everything else on them. I was thinking more just the fact that. You've got a bigger team, almost, you know, a, a fuller mm. team to come. Oh yeah, I mean, I've, well, I've certainly got options, <clears throat> whether I pick the right one or not. I mean, some some lads who weren't in the team early in the season or weren't even at the club early in the season have, have done nothing wrong. They've they've, they've played well. <clears throat> um, some who've come off the bench more often than not are now in the team, and they're doing well. So, yeah, it's going to be like I said, it's one of them headaches you, you want as a manager, but uh, it's difficult sometimes to do. Not the to, Saturday yeah, night no, one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you hoping to have at least one of the injured lads back for Tuesday, or is it still touch and go? Um, well, we certainly have Clunan and, and Barrett back, which is a huge part of my option. <coughs> my options. Um, we may, yeah, we may have Ben Stevens available as well. So yeah, we could we could have one of them back. But uh, I think Cam's still a little way away, and, and Scotty's a little further. So them two are a little bit further in the distance. I think. Does or do? Uh, Telford present you with a different type of challenge because they're down there scrapping for the lives, aren't mm -hmm. they? Yeah, and you guys keep telling me we struggle against teams that are at the bottom of the division, which I can't argue with at times. But they're, they're fighting for as valuable a three points as we're fighting for for different reasons. But you know, I I, uh, I expect a tough game. It's, you know, <clears throat> but so will they. Coming to the walks on a Tuesday night is usually a, a tough place to come. Do you think it'll be a case if they'll come here, put ten men behind the ball, perhaps, and you're going to have to find a way to break them down? Or well, it worked, it worked for Chester, didn't it? So, so if they watch that video, they'll probably probably go over about it fairly similar. But um, we'll have to see. You know, we'll have them looked at, and we'll look at them between now and the game, and, and we'll have our plans set accordingly.